In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a restaurant bill program. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask the user to enter the cost of the meal. It's going to calculate the tax, which is 7% of the meal. It's going to calculate the tip, which would be 15% of the total after adding the tax. And then it's going to display the cost of the meal, the tax, the tip, and the total bill on the screen. Now the first thing we want to do is we need to get input from the user. And the way we do this is by importing a certain class called Scanner because we need that class because it has certain functions inside of it that allow, allow us to get user input. So we're going to import the Scanner class. We're going to do this by saying import java.util.scanner. Next, in order to use this class, we need to create an object of it. So inside our main method, we're going to create an object by typing in the name of the class. We're going to name the object scan. We can name it whatever, but just for simplicity's sake, we're going to call it scan. Then we're going to say equals new scanner. The uh, parameters that we're going to pass this object is system.in. And now we have an object of this scanner class, so we can use the functions inside that class. The first thing we need to do before we even get input from the user is we actually need to ask the user to enter the cost of the meal. So we're going to do a simple print line function and say system.out.println. And what we're going to say is enter the cost of the meal. Okay, we have that. From here, we need to actually use the scanner class that we just imported and then created an object of. And the reason we're going to use this is to get uh, input from the user. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to create a variable called meal price, and this is going to be a double. So we're just going to say meal price is equal to scan dot next double. This function right here, this next double function that's inside of the scanner class, what it does is it takes input from the user in the form of a double and it's going to store it right here. Okay, the reason we did next double instead of next int is because, say for example, we did say next int and the user entered, entered a decimal point number uh, instead of an integer. What would happen is this would throw an error and the way to get around it is we can just say next double because even if the user enters an integer, say for example 100, um, it would store 100.0 in this variable and everything would be fine. So now we have the the cost of the meal. What we need to do from here is calculate the tax and if we look up here, tax should be 7% of the meal. So we can create a new variable and we'll call it tax and it will be of type double, so double tax. This is going to be set to 0 0.07, so 0 0.07 times the meal meal price yeah meal price okay so we have the tax um, we need the tip and it says the tip should be 15 percent of the total after adding the tax so we have the total which is right here the meal price and we have the tax so we need to create a third variable called tip and we're just going to say double tip is equal to um, it's going to be 15% of the meal price after adding the tax. So what we can do is we can just say meal price plus tax. And now we have the meal price plus the tax. So we can just multiply this by 15%. So we can just say times decimal 0 or 0 decimal 1, 5. Now we have the tip. Um, which is 15% of the total after adding the tax. And then from here, we need the actual um, total bill. So we can create another variable of type double, and we'll say total um, bill. This is going to be equal to the meal price plus the tax plus the tip. Okay. So now we have the tax, we have the tip, we have the total bill. What we need to do from here is we need to display this on the, the user screen because that's the very last thing we need to do. Display the cost of the meal, tax, tip, and total bill on the screen. 
So we can do the, a simple printf function. So we'll say system.out.printf. What we're going to say is the cost of the meal. So cost of the meal. We're going to say percent %f, and I'll explain to you what that is in a second. Then we're going to do backslash n, and I'll also explain to you what that is in a second. And we'll say comma meal price. OK, so this printf function is a little bit different than the print line function that we have used up here. Printf, what it does is whatever we type in here, or whatever we uh, enter here after the string, it will replace the percent %f um, portion right here. So say the meal price is $100, um, it'll replace this percent %f, so it'll say cost of the meal is $100. This backslash n is just an escape character. It goes to the uh, next line. So if I didn't do this backslash n, what would happen is everything, every printf statement I would do would be on the same line. It'd be clustered together. It'd look gross. So the backslash n will go to the new line. It'll improve the aesthetics of the program and overall it just looks much better. So that's what that does. So we've um, displayed the meal price to the screen. So the, the cost of the meal, we need to do the tax. So we can just copy this again. Copy, paste it here. So we can just replace this with tax. So tax, percent %f, new line, and this needs to be tax. Again, tax will replace this percent %f. So what will be displayed to the screen is tax, colon, the actual tax and then it'll go to a new line okay then what do we need to do we need to do the tip so we can paste this here we can replace this with tip and we can do right tip right here and then the last one is the total bill so we'll paste this here again paste replace this with total bill so total bill and what we will put here is total bill okay this should work let's run it um, it says enter the cost of the meal we will say it's $100 cost of the meal is $100 the tax is $7 because it's 7% of 100 the tip is $16.05 and the total bill is $123.05. So that is basically it. Um, I hope that this was helpful and you learned something. Um, if you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.